Nothing is lost, nothing is created, everything is transformed. I consider nature a vast chemical laboratory in which all kinds of composition and decompositions are formed. We must trust to nothing but facts. These are presented to us by nature and cannot deceive. We ought, in every instance, to submit our reasoning to the test of experiment and never to search for truth but by the natural road of experiment and observation. Nothing is born, nothing dies. It is impossible to disassociate language from science. To call forth a concept, a word is needed. Languages are true analytical methods. I am young and avid for glory. In performing experiments, it is necessary that they be simplified as much as possible and that every circumstance that could complicate the results should be completely removed. Vegetation is the basic instrument the Creator uses to set all of nature in motion. Imagination, on the contrary, which is ever wandering beyond the bounds of truth, joy to self-love and that self-confidence we are so apt to indulge prompt us to draw conclusions which are not immediately derived from facts. A wealthy landowner cannot cultivate and improve his farm without spreading comfort and well-being around him rich and abundant crops, a numerous population, and a prosperous countryside are the rewards for his efforts. It required 85 parts by weight of oxygen and 15 parts of hydrogen to compose 100 parts of water. Perhaps someday the precision of the data will be brought so far that the mathematician will be able to calculate at his desk the outcome of any chemical combination in the same way so too speak as he calculates the motions of celestial bodies. Sulfur, when burning, absorbs oxygen gas. The resulting acid is considerably heavier than the sulfur burned its weight is equal to the sum of weights of the sulfur burned and the oxygen absorbed. The whole art of making experiments in chemistry is founded on the principle we must always suppose an exact equality or equation between the principles of the body examined and those of the products of its analysis. One succeeds in obtaining an equivalent production, a lower price by improving the arts, trades, and agriculture, and by developing the physical and moral qualities of workers, farmers, and craftsmen. Diminish the mass of evils that afflict the human species, increasing enjoyment and well-being and even if the new roots opened up, could prolong the average life of mankind by only a few hours or even a few days than the scientist who could aspire. Experiments upon vegetation give reason to believe that light combines with certain parts of vegetables and that the green of their leaves and the various colors of flowers is chiefly owing to this combination. This theory, the oxygen theory, is not as I have heard it described out of the French chemist, it is mine. El Estate Lamian, it is a property which I claim from my contemporaries and from posterity. Vegetables are organized bodies that grow on the dry areas of the globe and within its waters. 
Their function is to combine immediately the for elements and to serve as food for animals. It is not only by the pores of the skin that this aqueous emaciation takes place a considerable quantity of humidity is also exhaled by the lungs at each expiration. Thus, while I thought myself employed only in forming a nomenclature, and while I proposed to myself nothing more than to improve the chemical language, my work transformed itself by degrees, without my being able to prevent it, into a treatise upon the elements of chemistry. The art of drawing conclusions from experiments and observations consists in evaluating probabilities and in estimating whether they are sufficiently great or numerous enough to constitute proofs. This kind of calculation is more complicated and more difficult than it is commonly thought to be. Mathematicians come to the solution of a problem by the simple arrangement of the data and reducing the reasoning to such simple operations to judgments so brief that they never lose sight of the evidence that serves as their guide. It is almost possible to predict one or two days in advance within a rather broad range of probability what the weather is going to be, it is even thought that it will not be impossible to publish daily forecasts, which would be very useful to associate 